Hey guys, it's your girl Virtuous Val and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to talk about five reasons why God may isolate you. And if you're interested in this topic, definitely stick around and don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Okay, so number one, God may isolate you because he's trying to get your attention. Okay, oftentimes we're constantly distracted by work, we're distracted by our phones, we're distracted by TV, you know, just everyday life. And sometimes God has to isolate you simply because he wants your attention. He's trying to speak to you. He's trying to grab your attention, right? And when we're constantly distracted by these things, it might be hard to hear the voice of God, right? It might be hard for you to pick up on when he's trying to get your attention, when he's trying to tell you something. He's telling you, you know, what to do. He's trying to speak to you, but you're missing his voice. You're not hearing his voice because you're simply just too distracted, okay? How many times do we, you know, spend hours and hours on our phone? We're scrolling on our phone or we're spending hours watching TV and God wants your attention. So sometimes he may isolate you because he wants to speak to you. He wants your attention, right? He wants you to hear him, okay? And sometimes he may take those very same things that are distracting us away from us, okay? And I can use myself as an example. There was a point in my life where God literally took everything away from me. He took my car, my relationship, uh, my friends, my job. He took everything, right? The very things that were a distraction in my life um, he took it away from me and I was left with nothing and that was his way of grabbing my attention because my my world was just You know, it was on the go. I, I was putting all my attention in a relationship um, Friends and, and you know, just doing things of the world and, and living a life of sin. So He removed those things from my life so that way he can get my attention and by doing that I, I gave my life to Christ Okay, so sometimes he may take those things away from you. Okay, so number two, God may have you in an isolation season because he wants you to get to know him. He wants you to get to know him. He wants you to build a relationship with him, right? So you have to remove the things that are distracting you. And sometimes you just have to isolate yourself, whether it be from friends or family. If you have to shut your phone off for a few hours or not turn on the TV so that way you can just... Have your moment of isolation and, you know, get to know him. Spend that intimate time with him, right? So sometimes God may isolate you simply because he wants you to get to know him. Okay, so number three, God may isolate you because he wants you to get to know yourself. Okay, when I went through my isolation season, I spent so much time self-reflecting, okay? I'm still self-reflecting every single day. I'm constantly learning about myself. I'm constantly figuring, figuring out things about myself that I didn't even know, okay? So God may isolate you because he wants you to get to know yourself. You have to spend time in isolation. You have to spend time getting to know yourself. What do you like? What do you dislike? What's your purpose? What's um, God's will for your life, right? Um, what makes me happy? What makes me sad? What makes me mad? What are my triggers? Okay, these are some of the things that I had to figure out and I had to really put myself in isolation and figure myself out, okay? Like, who am I? What do I like? Do I love myself? What makes me sad? What makes me cry? What do I want? You know, etc. So you have to get to know yourself, fall in love with yourself, okay? How can you say you love God, but you hate yourself? He created you. So how can you hate yourself? How could you not love yourself? He created you in his image. He knew you before you was in your mother's womb, right? So you can't say you love him and you hate yourself. So this is why I think it's so important to self-reflect and really fall in love with yourself and getting to know yourself. And all these things are beneficial because I'm telling you, it you will feel so much better just learning about yourself, especially if you're single, okay? You have to take the time to self-reflect. Who are you? Getting to know who, who you are. What do you like? Um, you know, just figuring yourself out. 
okay because you can't go into a relationship and you not know you don't know who you are right how do you how are you gonna love somebody else if you don't love yourself so um, God may isolate you simply because he wants you to spend some time with yourself and him and get to know yourself as well okay so number four God may isolate you to elevate you God may isolate you to elevate you and I'm not just talking about financial blessings or um, getting a brand new car or brand new house yes he may do those things too which is great but most importantly God may isolate you because he wants you to be elevated spiritually he wants you to be elevated mentally emotionally um, physically he just wants to elevate you in general okay and sometimes we may have um, friends and family that are not serving us um, any purpose we may have friends or family that's um, not bringing any positivity into our lives or who are not helping you grow in any type of way so God may pull you away from those people because he wants you to be separated from those people he wants you to be isolated so that way he can elevate you right sometimes we may have a group of friends or a circle where everybody's doing the same things and nobody's really elevating each other mentally emotionally um spiritually and god may pull you away and say hey you know what i don't want you hanging out with those friends anymore they're not really doing anything for you they're not serving you any purpose i don't want you um being around you know certain family members because all they do is is gossip all they do is you know talk about other people so god may pull you away and say hey i need you to remove those people i need you to step away from those people because I want to bring you here but having those people in your lives they're gonna keep you here okay so number five God may isolate you simply because you're different okay you're different you don't fit in you don't blend in with the crowd you are different and God made you that way and don't feel bad okay embrace it and I know it may be hard in the beginning where you feel like everywhere you go, you just don't fit in. Nobody likes me. I'm having a difficult time, you know, uh, making friends, whatever it is. Embrace it. God made you different, okay? You're not supposed to um, blend in with the world. You're supposed to be set apart, okay? And there are people who are living in darkness. They see the light in you, okay? They see that you're different. They give you those stares. They look at you up and down. They try to, you know, see like, oh... You know what is she about who, who is she or who is he you know and some people they will try to befriend you so that way they can try to understand who you are because you're different and God made it that way you're not supposed to talk like them you're not supposed to dress like them you're not supposed to walk like them and act like them okay you're supposed to be you the way that God created you the way that you're supposed to be the way that he wants you to be okay he may isolate you simply because you're different and because he may have a specific task for you to do, okay? And if you're too busy blending in with the world, you're trying to mix in with the crowd, you're trying to do what everybody's doing, he can't elevate you, okay? Like I said earlier, he may want to bring you here, but because you're hanging out with these people that's not serving you any purpose, these people that's um, that you're trying to blend in with and fit in with, you're not going to get anywhere. He's not, you're not going to fulfill the purpose and the task that he has for you. Okay. So he isolates you simply because you're different. Okay. He wants you to be separated. He wants you to be set apart. Okay. You're not supposed to be like everybody else. You're not supposed to talk like everybody else. And that's okay. And if, if you're an introvert, you would definitely understand this. Okay. Because the world is kind of like, you know, an extroverted world. So when you're an introvert, it may be even worse, okay? You just feel different, okay? People see the light in you, and sometimes that bothers them, okay? People can see, they can feel your aura, they can feel the spirit. This is, we're living, this is a spiritual world, okay? You have to look at everything from a spiritual standpoint and with a spiritual eye, okay? You can walk into a room, and people can just pick up on your spirit, especially if you're carrying the light. Okay, so God may isolate you because you're different and he has a specific task for you to do. Not for anybody else to do, but specifically for you. You can't be like everybody else, okay? He has a plan for you 
that he wants you to do. So you have to be isolated. You have to be different. You have to be set apart. All right. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And let me hear your thoughts. Has God ever um, put you in an isolation season? And feel free to add any additional reasons as to why you think God may isolate us. Okay. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.